Hey guys, it's Sarah. This week we have the new Raspberry Pi 3 and a rev of our bus pirate. So let's get started with this week's Friday product post here at SparkFun. The Bus Pirate is a troubleshooting tool that can communicate between PC and most embedded devices over standard serial protocol, such as I2C, SPI, and asynchronous serial. This rev just updated some of the firmware on the chip and we've reversed the plug-in so that it's easier to plug and unplug. You would use this if you're communicating with an unknown chip and you don't know how it wants to communicate to you. Hey everyone, we've got some exciting news. The Raspberry Pi Foundation just announced the Raspberry Pi 3, and lucky for you, we've got some to look at. On initial inspection, the Pi 2 and Pi 3 look almost identical. For example, you see the same connectors. There's four USB ports, an Ethernet port, combination audio and composite video port, HDMI, CSI camera port, DSI display port for things like touchscreens. There are 40 GPIO pins, a micro SD card slot on the back for holding your operating system and data. There's also a micro USB port for power and four mounting holes in the same exact configuration as the Raspberry Pi 2. However, if you look in the upper left corner, you see a chip antenna. That's right, the Pi 3 now has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy. This is great news for making internet connected or phone connected projects, and so you don't have to waste USB slots. Some other changes come into play when we compare the specs between the Pi 2 and the Pi 3. For example, the CPU got an upgrade to the Broadcom BCM2837 from the BCM2836. There are still four cores, however, we're now looking at a 64-bit ARM V8 architecture up from an ARM V7. We also got a speed bump from 900 megahertz to 1.2 gigahertz. The RAM is the same at one gigabyte between the Pi 2 and the Pi 3. For Wi-Fi, it seems that the new Pi 3 is using a Broadcom BCM43143, and it has a new switched power source that can support up to 2.5 amps. This is great for power-hungry USB peripherals. Like previous versions, the Raspberry Pi 3 is easy to get started with out of the box. Just keep in mind that you're going to need some peripherals, such as an SD card, a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and a power supply, and we've included these in a wish list below, so check that out if you want some ideas on things you should buy to get started. If you already have a Pi 2, you might be asking, should I upgrade? And the new 64-bit architecture with the speed bump definitely are nice things to have, but to me, the real reason to upgrade is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board. If you want to see how to get started with the Raspberry Pi, definitely check out my three-part series where I show you how to connect a sensor and post the data to Twitter. Also, if you want to see new fun electronics and check out some cool projects, click the subscribe button below. That's it for this week, guys. If you want to stay up to date on everything that we are doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And like always, tell us what you think in the comments. Until next time.